Yep, thank you. Yeah, so just a rough third quarter, I think. Um, kind of a bad ending to the second quarter that got us down, I think, five, maybe. Uh, I love the way we competed early. I told them that uh, if we could sustain the first five minutes, I knew they would be excited, retiring the jersey of one of the greatest ever. Um, we needed to be able to, that first media, be right there, which we were. Um, and I really loved how we competed for the most part. We just had a, a little bad stretch there about two minutes to go in the second quarter and let them get up five. Then we just didn't, we didn't come out ready. Um, again, my, I wear the responsibility of that, uh, and, uh, had a real bad quarter, but, uh, really I felt like found some competitors tonight. You know, when you're wounded, when you're wounded, like we are, um, sometimes it takes a game like tonight to really find your competitors. Uh, as I tell them all the time, I don't need the five best basketball players. I need the five best competitors. When you're in a game like this, y'all, I, I can't remember the last time I've had a team shoot 51% from the field, 44 from three and lose. But we lost, you know, we lost it in the turnover battle. We had 18 turnovers and we go 10 for 20 at the free throw line. You're not gonna beat Connecticut anywhere in the country doing that. When you shoot it like that, and then on the other end, we were horrible on defense. I mean, just really, really bad. And again, it might be because we've got four guards right now to play three positions. Um, you know, we just haven't had a whole lot of time to work without Rory around to kind of get used to a, a little bit of chemistry. Um, all three of these young ladies up here, y'all, two of them are in the transfer portal, and, and this is a freshman. So they've, I've had them for 32 practices. So they're still learning our way. And, and uh, you know, Shaylee, I thought she really competed tonight. We're asking her to do a lot right now. She got a lot on her plate, trying to do what I want her to do, how I want it done, trying to run a team. I mean, I, I thought she really competed tonight. Wasn't always great, but I thought she did some really good things. Had six, I think, assists tonight. Um, she knows she got to take care of the ball a little bit better, but she did, I thought she, she's really competing and trying. And uh, that's all you can ask. And my freshman here, you know, five out of seven and just played as fearless as she can be. She's going to be really special, y'all. She's going to be really good. Um, Sonia, uh, both Sonia and, and, and Slim here, they've got to accept the responsibility. We had 18 turnovers. They had nine of them. There's no way to sugarcoat that. They know they got to be better. we got to take care of the ball better. But Sonia shot it well from three. Um, we just – at times tonight when I wanted to do something, when we felt like we had an edge somewhere, it seemed like it took me three trips before I could get them to do what I wanted them to do. And a lot of that's just understanding that, hey, when the coach is calling something, he's calling it for a reason. And so we'll get there. Uh, you know, in Connecticut, obviously, AZ played really good. The kid can flat out shoot it. And they had four kids shoot it really well tonight, two four players and two two guards. So, you know, we got lit up by, by four really good players, and uh, we've got to be better defensively. And, um, again, y'all, sometimes that's the last thing. It's usually the last thing you get during the course of, of a season. And with so many new players, it's, we're going to be a lot better, y'all, in February. We'll be a lot better tomorrow because of tonight, but we'll be a lot better team in February. Alexa Philpy with ESPN. Um, Vic, and if anyone with the players want to answer this, where did you feel like you missed Rory the most tonight? And when you speak about the competitors that you were pleased with, was there any one or two players that you thought really brought that to the game? Well, I just think when, when, you, when you take Rory Harmon off the floor, you're taking somebody that alters the game both ways. Like, she is – she's such a pest defensively. She's not going to let you run your offense. She ain't going to let your point guard get where she wants to get to. Um, she's a great help defender. And then, and then it just kind of permeates through your team. When you see her working the ball up the floor and in the press and how hard she plays, you can't help but play hard if you're behind her watching that kid work the ball up. You're like, well, she's playing pretty hard. I guess I'm going to play pretty hard too. And it just really affects your team on that end. 
And then offensively, just she, she's a little more familiar than Shaley right now and Sonia on what I want to do and how I want to do it. And so when I'm calling something and it takes me three possessions to get it run right, you don't have that opportunity against a Connecticut to waste two possessions. And that's what happened sometime tonight. And I just I felt like I was fighting them all night long to do what I was asking them to do. But you have to give Connecticut credit too. And this is where I think you all, they don't get enough credit. I know we shot it well tonight and we did some things offensively, but to me, coaches' teams don't get near enough credit for their defense. And yeah, we both gave up a bunch of points tonight. I promise you in March, we're both gonna be a whole lot better defensively because I know what it means to him and y'all know what it means to me. So we, uh, I thought Taylor Jones played tonight really well, and I thought Jock really played well as a freshman in a big environment. Didn't bother her. She competed. Um, I'm telling y'all, this kid's going to be really special. She is a worker, unbelievable kid, just, a, just really, really brings it. And she's got these two to follow every day and see what it looks like at the guard spot. So, um, and again, I thought these two competed, you know, as well. We just we got out of whack a little bit there for a while, and we, we just were kind of doing our own thing. You can't do your own thing here in, in, on the road against, you know, a top five team. Hey, Coach Doug Feinberg, VAP. Uh, Two-parter, just to follow up, any further word on Rory and when she might be back for you guys? And also, just how much is this going to help you guys down the road playing a tough team in a tough environment, knowing you have some other tough games coming up soon in the Bahamas? Just how this will help you guys come okay. January, February, March? Y'all yeah. answer the second part. I'll answer the Rory part. How's it going to help us? Um, I mean, we got a couple, tr or I guess three games coming up in Bahamas that are going to be super tough for us, and we know that. Um, I mean, we just got to prepare for those. <laughs> and um, this game is going to help us definitely. I feel like. Um, we really prepared a lot for this game um, as a team. And, you know, I mean, just this loss, we're going to have a chip on our shoulder going to the Bahamas and hopefully come out with three wins. We just got to keep our competitive mindset as well um, because the past two practices before this game were really well. And if we keep stacking days, I think we'll do really well in the Bahamas. So just keep that competitive spirit and trust the coach and trust each other. I would say it just exposed a lot of stuff that we still need to lo learn and grow from. Um, like Coach said, we competed pretty well, but at the end of the day, it comes down to toughness, who's going to be the tougher team, whether it's mentally or physically. Um, I think we just got to use this game, watch film, go and practice, learn from everything, all the mistakes, every, every weakness that we show tonight, and just grow and learn from it. So that way, if we, if we never went through this tonight, then how can we learn from our mistakes? How can we learn from our weaknesses? So. Unfortunately, we had to learn the hard way, but it's going to help us in the end. That's what you like to hear from a student athlete, somebody being accountable, something that ain't real prevalent in the world today. Uh, Rory is day-to-day, -day, though. She's, she gets evaluated every day. Today she was out there, um, you know, in her bare feet doing some things. And uh, so she, be, she gets evaluated every day by our, our uh, doctors. And uh, if I'm not mistaken, she may have a doctor's appointment this week. So, you know, we'll see. It's uh, it's not anything major, major, you know. But this time of year, it's just not worth it. So we'll we'll be real careful with her. And again, because of that, I think I don't like losing, and I'm not walking out here tonight happy. I think we we certainly should have been right there at the end, and and could have been a one possession game. But like she said, I think we we found some things tonight, and we got better. And and I'll take that with me to to tomorrow and we'll try to grow on that. Yep. Uh, Vic, and again, any of the players that want to add to this, what did you think was the difference in the final four minutes? Was it more of just like a mental grit thing to cut UConn's 17 point lead and make it competitive? Or was there anything schematically that you guys were doing differently as well? What do you think? Last four minutes. I mean, <clears throat> I think it's kind of like all the other good possessions that we had during the game. <clears throat> when we played good and we played together and we played and did the things that coach wanted us to do and we stayed focused, you see we, we won each possession that we did there. So I think the last four minutes, the five that was out there, 
They just did what they were supposed to do, focused, locked in, and just out-competed. It wasn't perfect, but they still competed, and that's, they showed more toughness than UConn, even though they still won. That's how we took the lead from 15 to 7. So, Again, I think it's that last four minutes, It was we, we executed some good stuff, and we got the ball where we wanted to. We, we attacked them where we wanted to, and, and um, you know, again, I thought, you know, again, Shaylee's having to do a lot, but I thought she got us into what we needed to get into and got the ball where it needed to get to, you know. And uh, so uh, I'm proud of those kids that stayed out there and, and, and competed to the end. You know, here's the thing, though. If you have to – if you ha as a competitor, if the only way you can finally relax and play is that you've played bad, 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 and all of a sudden now it's a four-minute game and you're down 17, that's the only way you can turn it loose and relax and play and be effective, that's not good. And uh, I don't know that we had that with certain individuals, but you've got to be able to function. And again, this was good for us to be in that environment tonight and play in that game against that quality of an opponent. I mean, they're really good, y'all. I mean, it ain't no different than any other year around here. So they're really good. And I'm proud of our kids for competing. He's shorthanded, I'm shorthanded. I don't think anybody's calling me or him going, hey, uh, I know Buchers is hurt. Hey, Vic, Rory's hurt. Why don't y'all call us in a month and we'll play later? I don't think either one of us are getting that phone call. And so I thought tonight both our teams, we're probably both, they're starting, they're still figuring it out, but they've had a little more time to figure it out than I have, than we have. And so we're, we're trying to figure out how to function and, and be competitive without, you know, without our, our engine, you know, without our point guard. So. Again, I'm I'm really proud of Shaylee because she's having to do a lot, a lot, and she's 32 practices in for me. So, yep. Can you just talk about Easy Fudd in the second half that she had? I mean, 22 of her 32 points there in the second half. Yeah, there's not enough Tylenol for me to take after watching that. Um, it's been a long time since I've had a guard like that go off and. And, and and light us up like that. And again, we, we knew she, you know, she's open when she's not. That makes sense. At this level, y'all, you're wide open if you got this window. You're wide open. Like that's wide open when you play at this level in the top 10, 15 teams in the country. And and she can get it off when she's not wide open. And it it's just it's probably a kid, and I don't know because I'm not here, but I'm going to bet you that's a kid that's in the gym every day doing that from every spot on the floor, realizing that this is wide open, and she works on it. And uh, we were close. You know, we were close a couple times, but we knew coming into the game, we had talked about it. Close isn't close enough with her. You think you're close enough, you better take one more step. And um, so you have to really take your hat off to that kid and – and again, they do some good things for her. And again, we probably were, I played, you know, I only have these four guards, three of them are right here, and they had to play a lot of minutes. So, uh, but she's really good, really good, special. And uh, you got out there and guard her a little bit on the line, then she'll, she'll take you off. She's got a beautiful mid-range game, which is what I think is a lost art in our game. Not many kids have the mid-range. And that's something that these kids know I think is really important. And she's got one. Really appreciate y'all being here. Thank you for your coverage of our great game. I hope uh, we gave you a, a good game tonight to watch. And uh, don't don't fall asleep on us. We'll 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 be back. Okay. Thank y'all. Praise the Lord. Hook horns. Thank you.